Hey, welcome to Thirsty Amigos. Thanks for joining me. We are on day 16 of our Brewers Advent Calendar from Costco. Um, we made it to the weekend. We'll see what today brings on number 16, which, let's see, I need to find number 16. Is it down here at the bottom? It is. It's at the very bottom. So this might be interesting. If there's a lot, of, a lot on top of it, it may not come out very well. Yeah, I'm going to have to set this on its back side, whatever you want to call it. Um, and let me get it started. Be right back. Hey, I'm back. All right. So, yeah, this one had a, I think it was another beer uh, pushing down on it. Like I said, the internal workings of this have seemed to be not as good as uh, the last time we did this. So, a little bit, a little bit weaker, but it could have been dropped. Who knows in shipping? Um, it could a lot of stuff could have settled in so but let's see uh anyway we're on day 16. okay that's a good sign the beer below it didn't drop all right Ooh, interesting on this one all right this is a rolstwinger bra so this is um brew it's a bromberg rockber uh bromberg bomb um, bomberg <laughs> original it says but uh, the interesting thing here, it's a smoked beer. So smoked beer, it says on here. Uh, interesting note here, and you'll sure see this, two times champion, 2021 and 2022 gold, European beer star. So it's won awards back-to-back -back years. That's a little bit bigger at 5.3. So interesting, a smoked beer. Let's I'm, see what this one uh, has in store for us. And as you know, we... Do like mezcal here and some scotch, though the smokiness won't be a bad thing for us. It might be for you, but uh, we'll see. Let's give it a chance. Again, it's not coming up. Oh, this is for sure the darkest beer so far. Yeah, look at that. Pour me a little bit more. So it's a little bit thicker, but yeah, it's only 5.3. Interesting. Oh, yeah, you can smell it right away. Ooh, wow. Yeah, this has a rich smoke to it, like a savory, not a campfire. First thing that comes to mind when I smell this is like, uh, and uh, and it's not in a bad way at all, smoked salmon is what this smells like. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it smells like they put, <laughs> that may sound kind of gross, but smoked salmon in a, in a can now in my glass. Wow, yeah, like smoke locks. Yeah, Ooh, that's very interesting. I wonder if that, how that's going to translate the taste now. I'm kind of, not going to lie, kind of scared now. Um, uh, okay, let me, let me try this. <laughs> Salute. So, the good thing is, it's really balanced. Tastes just like it smokes. It's real smoke. Taste. <laughs> it tastes just like it smells. The aroma matches the the flavor. Um. Oh wow, yeah, it's got a lot of big a big smoke on the finish. Uh, uh, it can linger like a really smoky mezcal, but um. So it does. If you can cl clear your mind and get past the smoked salmon that you're tasting. There's a sweetness to it underneath that. Um, the mouth feels really thick. Um, it's real clear, too. If you look, but it's real dark, really dark amber. But you can, in the studio lights, I can kind of see them, but barely. Um, but a uh, really interesting beer. I'm really uh, really intrigued by it. It's uh, The more I drink it, the better it actually tastes. Now that I'm over whatever... I was thinking it was going to be, but yeah, this tastes really good, but it's going to be very polar polarizing. I cannot talk today. Um, so you're either going to really like this or really hate it. Your first taste is going to, going to really determine where you're going to go with this beer. You're going to keep going or you're going to stop. So, but for me, I could drink this definitely a one and done for the day or any, any party you're at or anything like that. Uh, I would I would definitely recommend trying it. It does taste good. 
if that makes sense. There is a lot of smoke. Don't don't get me wrong. There's a lot of smoke, but it's the initial. It's on the front of your palate, and it starts to fade away as it goes over your your palate or from the back. By 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 the time it gets to your back palate, it's pretty much gone, and it just tastes like a like a oh kind of like a porter maybe type. I don't know if this is a porter, but it has that it has that flavor profile. This could be a smoke porter for all I know, but um, I do like this one actually. The more I the more I go back to it, so I'm going to say this one's a success. But your mileage may vary on this one for sure. I would love to uh, see what the amigos uh, think of this one. I think we had a smoke beer in the 2021 calendar too. I will have to go back and look at that one and see uh, see if it's the same one. I don't think it is, but I know we had a smoke beer, so it could be. But uh, I would call this day 16 a success. So really like this beer. This is probably one of the more um, complex and polarizing beers that you're going to have in this calendar so far. So, But I, I like it. I say try it. Give it a try. So, all right. Until tomorrow, uh, we'll see you then. Salute.